The CCS1000D Digital Discussion System. Compact yet versatile. Simply take it out of the box, admire the sleek, elegant design, feel the robust, solid build, and look forward to enjoying the system's extreme reliability. Reliability that will reduce your callback costs and increase your customer satisfaction. The Bosch CCS1000D Digital Discussion System. Installation made simple, so you can move quickly onto your next customer. But there are a couple of things that need doing. We'll be brief. First of all, you will need to change one of the discussion devices into a chairperson's device. Simply push out the Participants button and replace it with two chairpersons buttons, one for Priority and one for Speak. This interchangeability means you need to stock only one type of discussion device. Even your inventory is kept simple with the CCS1000D Digital Discussion System. The discussion device has a headphone socket and built-in volume control. So meeting participants can listen as loudly as they want, without disturbing their neighbours. Like everything else in the system, the headphone feature is plug and play. The front panel of the control unit is language independent and intuitive to use, so you can quickly show your customers how to use the system. On the rear side of the control unit, simply plug in the power source and connect the first discussion device. Further discussion devices are connected via a daisy chain connection. Two discussion device input ports on the control unit allow 2 times 40 devices to be connected. The rear side of the control unit has outputs for four separate channels, useful in courtroom situations where separate voice recordings of witnesses and lawyers may be required. There's also inputs for external sources such as interrupt microphones or public address integration, for example. And a network connector for a wireless router, necessary for tablet operation and automatic camera control. Once you have plugged in all the connections, you simply press the on switch to initiate the startup phase. You will need to show your customer how to select the volume for the discussion devices and for the control unit's headphone socket, simply by touching either the plus or minus signs. Show how the meeting organizer selects one of the four microphone modes, such as voice activation or waiting list. Also, the number of active microphones is selected here, one to four. The front panel also includes touch buttons for recording the discussion either on the internal memory or on the external USB stick. And finally, there is a headphone socket for the operator to monitor the meeting. The control unit can record what's being said in a meeting on an external USB stick. The control unit can take a 128 gigabyte USB stick and record more than 4,000 hours of discussion so there's never any danger of running out of recording space. There's also eight hours of internal recording memory, so it's never a problem if your customer forgets the USB. Once you have connected all the discussion devices, you will need to address them individually. When the system is turned on for the very first time, it will illuminate red on the microphone and green on the speak button. To address the device, simply press the Speak button and the LED turns white to signal it has been addressed and is ready to use. Repeat this one button addressing for each discussion device. The control unit's front panel provides all the options to set up a basic meeting. 
But for more advanced meeting setups with up to 10 active microphones, the meeting organizer can use a tablet and web browser. To enable tablet control, you need to plug in a wireless router into the control unit for the tablet to communicate with it. Connection via Wi-Fi is made by the usual login procedure. When you've logged in, the main menu offers various options, such as voice recorder control and meeting management facilities. The System Settings submenu allows the meeting organizer to confirm that all seats are connected. The tablet adds many facilities to setting up a meeting and managing it. The cameras and control unit have native support built in. So all you need to do is connect the cameras to the control unit via a router. You then hardwire the cameras to the router. What could be simpler? Once connected, the cameras need to be initialized. Simply press the camera button on the main menu. Choose a camera and receive the live feed via the built-in web page of the selected camera. Then, for each seat, select the camera and assign a pre-position so that the camera turns to the correct seat when the meeting participant presses the speak button. Continue the process and set up the correct pre-position for each seat, and so on until all the seats have been assigned a camera pre-position. First, check that all the discussion devices are connected. Check that the camera is also connected properly. Then, simply go around the table and press the speak button. During this test, you will see the camera's picture pan from seat to seat. But once assigned, a frozen image will ensure that the picture goes from one seat directly to the next, without panning. And that's how to install the CCS1000D digital discussion system. Now let's get to that next customer. For more information about how to install the CCS1000D digital discussion system, please refer to the instruction manual. Bosch. Invented for life.